best work for the abolition or reduction of standing armies. When President Obama moved into the White House 10 months ago, the U.S. had 34,000 soldiers in Afghanistan. This coming summer, Obama will command 100,000 U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan. So if you add the soldiers he is commanding in Iraq, he will command a total of 222,000 troops, 36,000 more than Bush ever had. 186,000 was Bush's highest total. We want a change. We are a broad coalition representing the peace movement, political parties, church organizations, trade unions. Uh, the organization organizing this event is Bring the Soldiers Home, the Peace Initiative, Norwegian Peace Council, and Peace and Democracy in Afghanistan. We have some very important international guests. Cindy Sheen is one of the most well-known peace activists in the world. Cindy lost her son in Iraq in 2004, and she put up a camp outside the Bush Prairie Chapel Ranch in Texas. She has come all the way from the U.S. to speak to us, Cindy.
it. We, as a peace people, reject the stinking thinking, and we reject the honors of the establishment, and say to them that we refuse to pay, play their violent games. If they want awards, they can give them to each other. If they think killing children is so great, why don't they send their own children and leave out? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm freezing. Last night we received a letter, a message from uh, a US peace organization called Military Families Speak Out. Military Families Speak Out has a membership of over 4,000 military families. It is the largest organization of military families speaking out against wars. In the letter they want to express this to you. So many of us in the United States wish we could be there with you in Oslo. Please know that in the United States military families started speaking out in 2000 2002 to try to prevent the US invasion of Iraq. To everyone participating in today's demonstration in Oslo, please know that you are carrying with you the sentiments of thousands of military families and many, many others in the United States. That's an important message from this group in the US. Uh, I would, before I introduce the next speaker, uh, I would uh, tell you that there are some people collecting money here. It costs a lot of money to arrange this, so please give, like uh, they say in the churches, generously. And now to our next speaker. This March, a meeting is also focusing on the nuclear arms. And the winner of this year's the right livelihood award, the so-called alternative peace prize, is the next speaker. Alan Ver, all the way from New Zealand, has led key initiatives for peace education and nuclear abolition in New Zealand and internationally over the past 25 years. Alan.